Stonewall. Welcome back to our tip of the week segment. We hope everybody enjoyed our Caddyshack spoof last week. We had a lot of fun making it. What we're going to talk about this week is the importance and the correct way to fix a ball mark. Now leading up to the mid-am and then even on further into the future, we really want to present Stonewall in its best light as possible to all of you partners and your guests. And fixing ball marks is definitely an A number one priority. Now there's a there's a correct way and an incorrect way to fix a ball mark. Something also to, to, to make to uh, take note of is that if you fix a ball mark right away after you after you hit the green, it'll heal in a few days. If you don't fix it, it's going to take a couple weeks, and that's when you see that uh, the brown burned out spot on the on the green just like this. Somebody didn't fix this ball mark here. Now the main thing to remember is that when you when you go to fix a ball mark, you never want to whether you're using a pitch pro or a tee, you never want to stick the pitch pro in or the tee and then and then push down because you break the roots and that will leave a brown spot also. What you want to do is you want to push straight in with the pitch pro like this or you can push straight in with a tee and, and, and then push forward just a little bit and kind of build a little mound leaving the root system in and then tamp it down with your foot or tamp it down with uh, with your putter. And that should heal in a couple days. So if everybody if everybody fixes their ball mark plus one other, and we have caddies, we, theoretically we should never have ball marks on the greens. So just remember that. Uh, if you have questions on how to correctly fix a ball mark, certainly let us, any of us know. And uh, hopefully this uh, this will help you next time you're playing. Thanks so much.